What's good with you with the veterans military today we're going to be talking about the va disability claims process secondary conditions to your already service connected back condition but it'll be back pain lumbar sickle strain let's get into it my fellow veterans so first we got mental health of course anywhere from zero to 100 percent for mental health alone secondary to your already service connected back condition whether it be back strain lumbar sacral strain thoracic strain or pain hey depending on your medical evidence you definitely for all secondary disabilities you got to show causation in order to establish that link to whatever secondary disability in which you're trying to obtain i got a lot of videos on how to establish and effectively have your doctor acknowledge that secondary so mental health conditions you can get service connected for depression anxiety insomnia whatever the case may be somatic symptom disorder whatever the issue is with you when it comes to your low back pain and it's causing these mental health issues you got to make sure that you're one complaining to your doctor your primary care provider whether it be at the va medical facility or in the private medical world complain to these doctors and then establish them acknowledging okay it's causing this veteran to have anxiety depression stress whatever the case may be they will then refer you out to a therapist that therapist is going to evaluate you while you came in hey my primary care provider recommended me they referred me out to you so i can be evaluated and diagnosed properly and see what's going on mentally obviously you want to start building that that medical evidence that trail so once you do get to that therapist it's like okay you've already established that your already service connected disability that low back pain is causing depression is causing anxiety that's why i'm here i'm going to evaluate you and they're going to be evaluating you on the severity of your symptoms what symptoms you actually have as well as impacts to your personal and to your professional life how do you capture this you gotta be open be open with these therapists because when you're not you're like you know cheese digging it they're like ah oh, you ain't getting shit bucko i'll give you a diagnosis but hey outside of any normal person yeah i'm gonna diagnose you however you're not having any symptoms associated with a higher tier of percentage yeah that therapist is not necessarily they got a dbq out but you gotta be, do your p's and q's be open with them talk about your issues be up forth and you know coming and shit like that you know be open express everything that's going on any effects in your personal life work life express it moving on radiculopathy secondary to back pain or sciatica secondary to lumbar sacral strain let's get into it and you can get service connected for each individual lower extremity anywhere from 10 to 80 percent depending on your level of severity now looking at this example this is just a veteran who was service connected and the results of this was just 10 percent per leg but let's say if you have 10 percent for your back your low your low back pain um lumbar sickle strain thoracic strain whatever the case may be they put in a claim for half two secondaries that's two additional 10 percent 10 to 80 percent per leg that the va is now going to add on top of your already service connected low back pain how do you do that well, once again complain with your doctor they'll evaluate you this is something that your doctor can evaluate and diagnose you on the spot and get you any treatment additional services needed in order to treat this at the same time you're going to already have a diagnosis now depending on the level of severity and i'll go you know i'll, I'll hit the next slide just so we can look at the the va rating that you can get per leg if you are able to establish yes you do have sciatica radiculopathy due to your lumbar sacral strain and or your low back pain thoracic strain a at this point you've already done your due diligence now depending on the level of severity the VA is going to evaluate that medical evidence that you submit and tie it to either 10, 20, 40, 60, or 80%. I don't see a lot of veterans running around with 80 because, you know, the VA ain't trying to have all that. But I have seen, you know, myself included, I have 10%. I know a lot of veterans that have 20%. Very few that have 40. And I've only seen one veteran at 60. So, depends on your level of severity. Moving on from that. Restless leg syndrome, secondary to back, same thing. 
this veteran has 10% per leg. So you can have multiple secondary disabilities. And this veteran just happened to have rest, you know, left extremity, rest his leg syndrome, as well as for the right, 10%. And I will go as far as to say that this veteran also has radiculopathy as well. Those are additional two, two more 10%, depending on the level of severity. You can have 20% per leg for sciatica, and then you can have 10% per leg for restless leg syndrome. The list goes on. The possibilities are endless. But but main thing is you got to be in with your doctor. It's not like a one-time thing that you hey, you know, I think I got restless leg syndrome. Because then they're going to be like, oh, okay, what are you, a doctor now? What are you telling me what to diagnose you with? No, especially if you're going to the VA doctors. They, they are not trying to help you out. They're not trying to give you any leg up whenever you submit that VA disability claim. No, they're going to be like, oh, what do, you, what do you want this for? Why Why do you think this? So you need to be able to talk about your symptoms to them, whether it's mental health you know, sciatica or restless leg syndrome. Uh, moving on. And restless leg syndrome, secondary to lumbar sacral strain. The VA utilized the same diagnostic code for rating sciatica the same way they, ra they rate the restless leg syndrome, secondary to lumbar sacral strain. Moving on from that. Plantar fasciitis. Now, plantar fasciitis is a common claim. A lot of veterans do a direct service. However, if you don't have any in-service complaints and your back is causing feet issues, any secondary, you got to be complaining to your doctor. Establish that connection. Establish, establish that acknowledgement from your doctor. Like, okay, yeah, you got plantar fasciitis. I'm going to refer you out to a podiatrist. At that point, the podiatrist is just going to review, evaluate, more than likely take x-rays. And be like, okay, yeah, I do see some plantar fascia tissue that's tight, either in both one or both feet and at that point you already established your back pain is causing plantar fasciitis now depending on your level of severity it's always severity you can get anywhere from 10 to 30 percent now 10 percent is for regular people i mean you know for the footy average veteran and 20 and 30 percent is okay no relief from both feet with non-surgical or surgical treatment unilateral that's single feet and then both feet is going to be pretty much sums it up if you have plantar fasciitis cool you get diagnosed 10 percent you have issues now in order to get 20 or 30 percent you would need to take the steroid injections in both feet as well as not be a candidate for surgery that's how you obtain 30 percent for plantar fasciitis now that's the highest for that yes there are other foot conditions past planets flat footedness usually um you know usual veterans get 30 percent but the highest you can get for that is 50 percent so it all depends on your medical evidence that you submit to the va and what complaints that you are willing to you know what level of pain and evaluation are you willing to go through in order to get these disabilities service connected now if you made it this far, hopefully you've learned something. 2024 is right around the corner. We definitely need to get our veterans service connected. Definitely for those who are underrated. Motherfucking Devo. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all thought y'all would get through this video without some cursing. Y'all was fucking wrong. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, but hey, until next time, if you like this type of content, check out my other videos. Comment. Comment. Hit me up in the comment section.